Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Let's solve the lead code problem maximum jaw of two numbers in an array. So given a non-empty array of numbers a0, a1, a2 and an-1 where all the numbers I lie between 0 to 2 to the power 31. So we have to find the maximum result of ai jor aj such that i and j lies between the range 0 to n and we have to come up the solution of o n runtime solution. So solving this in O of n square solution just nest the two try to create all the pairs of AI AJ and get the maximum over them of their jaw which is very straightforward but this solution is O of n square and the problem is asking for we have to come up with the O of n solution. So how we will solve this problem in O of n. So this is the first e example given here. So let's understand how we will solve this problem. So over here I have write down the binary representation of all the numbers and this number is the biggest number. So its binary representation is a copied 5 digit 5 bits. So I have extended others numbers in the 5 bit representation as well. So first of all let's understand what is jor so if we are doing to jor so the truth table of jor if we do 0 g dot 0 we will get 0 1 jor 1 is also 0 and the opposite bits like 1 jor 0 and 0 jor 1 this is the truth table of the jor operation so we will get the 1 so for the maximum jor we will try to achieve as maximum 1 from starting from the left side of the number so if all the numbers in the memory is represented as a 32 bit binary representation 32 bits so this is just i have uh, for explanation write it down on in all the 5 bits representation so we will look for the two numbers they have the different bits basically most of the opposite bits so that we will always get this one one like this so if we go here in the first so we have this number which has the first bit is 1 and other number is can we support this number so we can get uh, at least the 1 and other 4 let's say 0. So we can get maximum at least this number which is corresponding decimal of 16. Similarly once we get the first uh, set tweet we will also look for if we can get like 1 1 and then other whatever we will look bit wise bit like first we started from this bit uh, like the if in the five, fifth bit basically g or zeroth bit from the left side then second bit and so on. So if we try for this so we will check we have uh, this is out of picture this number and this number is also out of picture but if we do jor of 25 with the rest of the number 253 we can get this so this will be corresponding to the number is i think 24 yeah 16 plus 8 which is 24 so we can get max 24 if we do then we will go further one more step down which is we will look for is is it possible to get 1100 in our number or not so this is the approach we will try now how to solve this as a programmically this is the understanding so for programmically solving this first of all to finding a particular bit like set bit or the bit number at uh, checking bit at particular number we will use a mask so we will use a mask which will we will use mask and we will shift that many bits time one of left shift so left shift is basically if we start with one this will be the like number 0 0 0 0 and so on 0 0 1 if i do let's say three time left shift of this one then this will give me 1 0 0 basically we will shift three time this left so this is like this so 0 0 0 0 so this is how left shift operator works now if we start so let's say right now we have five bits so we will start look for this so we will do the uh, left shift of this basically total n which is five minus one so four times if we do four times we will get a first mass one zero 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 so this is a mass which is in decimal is 16 basically so we will do the bitwise end with all of the numbers 
so if we do the bitwise and with all of the number we will get only the here two things one is zero and if with all of the rest of the number except this number because this number one one will match so we will get one zero 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 from this so this number will give us 16 which is uh, corresponding to one zero 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 so first we will create this and store as a prefix in our one of the data structure we are set we will store these both of them first we store now we will look for the fifth bit the maximum jar we will generate the maximum jar so we will initialize maximum jar again from the variable zero and then we will check is there two numbers in our set which has basically prefix like opposite to so starting this we will use a one temp variable again the same as the we will do the bitwise shift and take or with the current max so we will do the current max or with the and the number of time we will again shift to this guy to set that bit one so ith time so here it is will be initially it will become one zero zero again now we will use this stamp and iterate all the element in our set so let's say we will iterate all the element as a prefix in our set so this is my set which has in the first like 0 and 16 so if i iterate so let's say if i got 0 so 0 means 50 for 5 bit representation and the temp is 1000000 so if we do the bitwise like this jar of these two thing we will get this cells and we will check if the set contains which means it's confirmed that we have two number which has the opposite bits at this place the ith number like fifth bit like first bit from the left so we will set this bit break this and max set our maximum at least with this number temp current temp and then we further this is we did for the first bit here now we go one more down the line the we update our mask so ma see in the mask also we will keep the previous bit so we will do bitwise or with the new mask bitwise or with the current mask and the shift this now three times so the current bit mask is one zero 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 and we will do bitwise mask with one zero 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 and zero will be here so this will become one one zero 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 so this is our now new mask then we will uh, do the bitwise and with all the number and store in the set now in set if we store we will get the three number like 0 8 and the 16 this is corresponding to five zeros in bitwise in bit representation this is corresponding to 0 1 0 0 how we will get if we do bitwise end of this mask with this two number like 8 and 10 we will get this 8 similarly if we do with 25 we will get 1 1 0 0 0 so 1 1 0 0 so this is not 16 it is 24 basically this time so now if same thing we will use it so now we have three elements in our set which is like 0 8 and 24 now we use again our temp which will become max or the initially max we have 1 0 0 0 and then we will again shift this bit here one with three three time so this will become or with one zero 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 and zero is here so this will again become the the temp is same as like mass basically so this is now we will do the bitwise jar of each of the number and check if this guys contain if we do bitwise jar with this so the, we will get this itself which is 24 and this our set is contained so we found the prefix that two number which has the opposite two bits so this will be our next maximum so we will update maximum so this is the basic approach to solve this problem is uh, <coughs> using the bitwise operator so let's start the implementation first then i will explain the time complexity and space complexity for this solution so initially we need a uh, one mass which is in a slice form zero and also the max variable which is will hold the bits of our max jar then we will iterate from int i is equal to 31 by 31 because our number is represented in the memory integers is in the 32 bits so we start from the 31 we will go to till the uh, 0th bit 
so this is 0 i minus minus so now first of all we will generate our mask so this mask will be uh, mask is equals to mask bitwise or with the left shift of 1 at how many times ith times so this is how we generated the mask first now let's define a set which will hold all the prefixes which we generate with the bitwise and with the mask so this will be let it call set new hash set now we iterate all the nums in num in nums array every time and store that set dot add the mask bitwise end with the num so we will add that in prefix in now for the ith bit of our max we will look for so initialize a temp variable so this is mm, <coughs> max or again the same as like one bit y shift ith time now we we'll iterate all the prefix which we generated in our pref chat which is let's say called prefix uh, into the set then we will also ch check if our set contains the prefix contains the prefix from the temp bitwise jar with the uh, current prefix number if this is there like two number which is sharing the different bits in that case we will update our max with the current temp and break here for this bit at least we found the number and we will do for all the 32 bits and in the end we just return whatever bit sets we found in our max which is our maximum jaw so let's compile this code and see if it is compiling and we are getting correct answer yes we are getting correct answer let's submit this code and it is accepted so now let's understand what is the time complexity so if you see over here we are doing this uh, array iteration every time for all of the 32 bits so this the time complexity of this solution is o of 32 n n is a length of our array so this 32 is constant as we can doing big o of so we can also say that this time complexity is o of n and the space complexity of this solution is it's like depend how many we are getting like in the first case we will get the two element only in the set and the second case we can get more four but in worst case in the end we can get an element in our set so that we can say space complexity is o of n so this is a solution try it out it is not that easy to come up with this kind of solution unless you are familiar with uh, bitwise uh, problems or bitwise operators so try it out give a try there are uh, very like other problems try them out like one of the similar kind of problem is having distance to problem which is like solution is which exactly I can say is kind of similar to this solution so try that out as well I will provide the link so if you like my solution hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thanks for watching